Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a brake job, or at least the front brakes, on my uh, 2017 Cadillac XT5. I'm going to start off by jacking the front of the car up. I'm going to put it on jack stands, and then we'll get the tires off, and then we'll see what's going on at that point. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to start off here by finding what the uh, socket is that we need to take these... Uh, lug nuts off with. Right. That appears to be a 22 millimeter. Let's put, it, let's put this in the gun and let's see what we're going to get out of this. All right. I'm going to put my gun on power three just to break those loose. There we go. By the way, this is a really nice gun. This is a rigid 18 volt, four amp hour. Uh, just really nice, that's all I'm gonna say about it. Really nice. All right, so let's get the tire off. Let's see what we've got to be dealing with here. In this video, I'll probably put my gloves on and off a bunch. And when it comes down to dealing with the, the brake pieces in here, I will end up uh, probably changing them more often than that. All right. Yeah, that, uh, those are some brakes that definitely need to be replaced. <laughs> definitely need to be replaced. Whew. They look pretty, look pretty nasty. We got a, star nut here that I wasn't expecting for the uh, rotor so I'm going to have to pause here for a second and see if I have a star nut uh, that I can get that off with so I will be back in a couple of minutes All right in this case I got a small impact to go in and I have some uh, star nuts to see if any of them will fit no. Well, that one will fit. So let's see what. Let's see if that'll take it off for us. I was expecting this to be a Phillips head. Oh my! That's so simple. That was easy peasy. <laughs> Put that over to one side. Now, there's a couple of nuts that we're gonna to have to get off the back here. The caliper nuts. Okay, we're gonna to have to get those off. I'm not sure what size those are yet. But we're gonna take that off and then we're gonna be able to get the rotor off of here. We may have to bang that. So there's gonna be two nuts here to take off the caliper and we'll rest that up here. And then there's gonna be two bigger bolts down here that we're going to have to get off to get the uh, the caliper bracket itself off, all right? So the first thing is we'll take this off. We're going to have to find the right size uh, socket for it. Say 15, maybe. Nope. 
17 millimeter. That's going to be at 17 millimeter. So. going on that. I'll probably, probably have to get a four pound sledgehammer and bang this off. But that's probably been on there for a while. Alrighty. Come on, mama. You know what? I'm gonna start the carp and see if we can turn that a little bit. Turn the wheel a little bit this way. Or go jack the other side up and then manually manually move it. Hang on. Yeah, we're ready to get those two nuts off of there for the caliper. Look right here and then one right here. All right. One of them. Just gonna put it up here on the shock mount. And that's the second one. Now that is going to allow me to take the caliper off the wheel. And there we go. I'm just gonna hang that up there like that for now. These are my slide pins, and these are the brake pads. Okay, you can see how they have springs on them. All right, so next we're gonna take off those bigger bolts, which I think are. Uh, Definitely larger than what I just took off of there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Put this down here, and we'll find the right size for that. I'm thinking those might be a 19, but let's check it out and see. We'll try an 18 first. Nope. I'll try, oh, it actually goes to 18 to 21. That's actually a 21.
That was tough. Let's see if we get the other one off. Good thing I got that tool. <laughs> and these are much bigger, see? I'm going to put those up on the shock mount as well. You can see that spring fell off of there to hold these together. And there's very little pad left on, very little pad left on these. So we do have to take this off in order to be able to get the rotor off. This will go back together a lot easier than it comes apart. This had the Loctite. And this, these actually might be original brakes. These might be very original. You can tell they're kind of old and crusty and really not much pad left on them at all. So put these down to one side for now. And, oh, this is so lucky that this will just come right off like that. Wow, that is amazing. <clears throat> amazing. <clears throat> These studs are all in good condition. There's no rust on here that's holding anything up in any way, shape or form. Wow, I'm kind of lucky with this kind of lucky here so <clears throat> we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix and push back these uh the caliper pistons and to do that i'm gonna have to get a tool so i will be right back with that tool so this is the tool we use here and uh It's going to go on like this and I've got two pistons here instead of one all right two pistons instead of one so in this case we're just going to put this on one piston and twist it all right we'll get it started And then that will, that's actually going to start to push that piston in. And we're just going to take our time with it. All right. And we have two pistons to do. One on each side. We're just going to push that all the way in. <clears throat> and that's it. We'll loosen this back out now a little bit. You can see the difference. One piston is in and one piston is out. There's a whole bunch of different plates that come with this tool. We just want a flat, a flat plate to push against that, okay? We don't want anything with hooks on it, because that's just gonna get in the way. We just see something flat. Back this off a little bit so it'll fit in here. We're going to get this situated like this. And now we're going to start pushing that other piston that we have there. And you'll see that start to go in. We don't do it fast because don't forget what, what this is doing. 
is we're actually pushing the brake fluid back up the line to make room for that piston to travel. This one's going back nice and fluid. Now, what I wanna to do today is just get the front brakes done. <clears throat> that's all I'm looking to do. And that's in all the way. It looks like this one might be able to go back just a little bit more. So I'll give that a shot. Yeah, just a little bit more. Because don't forget, those new pads are quite a bit thicker. All right. And they're going to need room. They're going to need room to do their thing. So I'll put this over to one side for now for the next wheel. So that's looking pretty good. All right. So I'm just going to hang this back up here for now. So we can go get the rotor. And uh, make sure that's in good shape put the rotor on and put the screw back in in for it <laughs> it's just going pretty good I don't want to jinx myself but right now it's looking pretty good now I'm going to change gloves completely so as I handle the rotor there's going to be a little bit of oil on it and uh, we want to make sure that uh, we don't get that on the rotor be right back Well, as luck would have it for me, I've run out of uh, gloves, and that's my luck. But I've got some brake parts cleaner here, and I'm going to have to put this on with my hands a little dirty. But old rotor, new rotor, all right? Let's open up that new rotor, and I'll tell you what I've learned about slotted and drilled roller, rotors. Oh boy, this is a way heavier rotor than was on there. Uh, now, on this rotor, these fins are going to go toward the back of the car. Okay? That's just the way they go. So, we're going to put that rotor on, and then we're going to put that screw back in to hold it in place. And hopefully, this, this all stays nicey nice. So. I'll move you over here just a little bit. Okay. Or maybe over here would be better. Well, I've never had drilled or slotted rotors before. Okay, I've never had them. So we're going to put them on. And then we're going to put the screw in. Let me get down here. Then we're just going to spray a little brake cleaner on it to get any oil off of the rotor. Okay? Oh boy. Here we go. goes right back in here. That'll end up holding that tight. That looks good. So, this is the rotation of the tire. Okay? That's the back of the vehicle. The slots are supposed to point toward the back of the vehicle. Unless the fins inside here are not straight and the fins the cooling fins on this they are straight so those will point toward the back of the vehicle just like we said so we're going to tighten the screw up and that's all we need just so it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to wobble on us right now 
Our next piece of the puzzle, a couple of things that have to do. I'm not sure where I'm going to do that, but put a little great clean on here just to get any dirt off of it. Okay. And that dries really quick. So at this point, I'm going to have to work on uh, getting the brake, the, uh, the, the caliper the caliper mount back in place and my hands will get dirty for this I gotta put the gloves back on because there's a lot of a lot of dirt on uh, this piece this is why I wish I had new gloves but I don't all right now in this case let's move us out of the way a little bit there's a couple of housekeeping issues we're gonna have to do here let me get you situated on this. All right. This is the caliper mounting bracket. And in this case here, uh, no, that's not the caliper mounting bracket. This is the, uh, this is the caliper itself. So in this case here, you see they have these springs on it and those keep the those keep the brakes pushed out from the wheel and those usually just come off like that okay they just come right off now in this case we have these things called slide pins and those are supposed to move in and out freely all right and they do but I want to show you that there's really not much friction material left on here at all. Not at all. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right. All right. So in this case, <coughs> we're going to have to take these off. These are going to come off and get replaced right here. Those are going to come off just like that. And new ones are just going to snap right in there. There we go. Okay. New one's just gonna snap right in there. There we are. Okay. We're going to take the other side off and replace those. And that goes in like that. Same way. So those are all in now. Next thing we need to do is we need to grease these pins. That's what we need to do. We need to make sure that these are greased. All right, that's one, what we have to do. We have to grease those pins. And we're gonna get a cloth. We're gonna wipe those off and put some fresh grease on them. So, this is our new grease. And we're going to wipe the old pins off. 
grease them and put them back in the in the in the in the hole okay get all the old grease off of them see So I'm gonna grease this pin and we're gonna put it back in there. This is brake caliper grease. All right, that's one. That's gonna go back in here. And we'll just wipe it off, okay? That's working a lot better than the other one when they came out. <laughs> I do the other side now, some fresh grease on it. Fresh grease on the pin. I'm gonna put that back in. Okay. And that's in there as well. We'll give it a little wipe off. <coughs> that's that part. Our next step is now we're gonna mount this back into the vehicle. <coughs> and then uh Put the caliper bracket back on and get the pads going and stuff like that. So I'm going to get a set up over here and then uh, we'll be right back. I'm going to take that bracket and put that baby back where it belongs. So we got pins working really good. Nice and flexible on there. We're gonna tighten these bolts back up for the caliper mount. All right. Good catch there. <laughs> we'll put that down over here for now. Took a chunk of skin off, but better better than that than uh, have I hit the ground. Wow, that is a chunk of skin. Look at yikes! Oh well, it happens. You know what? It happens. Oh. 
Alright. And these brakes, these are going to go right inside here now. All right, that, that one pad is in, but I'm gonna put a little grease on there, so I'll just feel better about it. I'm gonna put just a little grease right on here. Just in there a little bit, just a little bit of grease. There we go. This other pad will go in the front like this.
And those are our pads are in. We got the grease on the pads. Okay. I'm gonna put a little grease on the back of the where the piston hits. We're gonna put a little grease on the back of the pad. Okay. And then in the front of the pad a little bit too. Right. Now in this case, we have to put the springs on. there and on the other side we'll put them too now that's all assembled and ready to go we're ready to put our caliper piece back on top of this so let me get the gloves on again done with this side now in this case this is just gonna pop pop right on here right we should have plenty of room and we do Here we go.
Just a little alignment issue over there, but we got it. All right. So now it's just a matter of tightening that back up. And it'll be all set with this side. Put our tire back on and be done with it. <clears throat> Let's get the tire back on here. All right, let's get the lug nuts back on this one and we can let it down. <clears throat> I'll go inside and put a band-aid on this cut. Wash my hands, and then come out and we'll do the other side like rinse, wash, and repeat almost. And for this, we need the bigger socket. They're going to find. And I dropped it. I think that was the 21. Oh, here it is. By my foot. <clears throat> Gonna start off on low with this. Now we're going to tighten them up. We're going to take it up one more level, crisscross. And then one more. And those have all been crisscross, so everything's on nice and tight. There's going to be no wobble in the wheels or anything. I'll get my torque wrench and I will torque these to the specification but uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes and that's the that's the end result on this wheel and it's looking real good I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll be back
And one more. Lucky. All right, break time. And we're back. So, look how bad those rotors are. And they're warped too, so. Let's get this, let's get started on this side. Now we just finished getting the wheel off. Now, <clears throat> this side should go a lot faster than the other one. So. Okay. Just gonna rest that there for now. That's how these come apart. There's little spring clips come off of them. We'll take these off first. side now the pads the pads are going to come out right There's very little material on this now these are pretty worn Same thing on this one. Now these, the new pads I'm putting on a ceramic. <clears throat> I 
In this case, we're going to take that caliper mounting bracket off. Come on back here, you. I'm not going anywhere. Take that, put it up here. We'll take the Doing that by hand would have been really tough. Really tough. So I'm taking that off now. Now this car's got 84,000 miles on it. I wonder if that's the uh, original brakes or not. I, I don't really have, have any idea. I just don't know. Now we've got to press those in. So then we'll get the press tool. Dropped a bolt somewhere, but we'll find it. Just gonna do it one at a time, one side at a time here. And uh, we gotta back this, back this off. Okay, you settle in like that, and we just start torquing it down until it catches and that's what we do. And we crank that all the way in. We take our time though. Put that in until it stops. Not stopped. Okay. That's all the way in. We're gonna do the same thing too. Just gonna to start cranking it down. All right, you can see it there. Okay. Then we're just gonna start twisting this and let it push the piston back in. You can see the piston will start going in. This one's all the way in now. It's a little tough at first. But then it gives way and it gets a lot easier to <coughs> get it to retract. And you're just going to go with that until it stops. And you'll know when it stops. Because it'll stop. <laughs> and 
and that stopped. We just take that right back off of there. So both of those are re both of those have been retracted. All right. And uh, <clears throat> for now, I'm just going to put this up here like I did the last one. All right. Just to hold on to it for a little bit. Well, <clears throat> actually, uh, I think I can put it right over here. It'll be fine. Okay. Now, <clears throat> it's time to take the rotor off. And that should pull right off without any much of a problem. Now, these front rotors were definitely warped. <clears throat> and not in the greatest of condition. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna get the other uh, rotor, put that in place, put the screw in it. Look at the old brake fell apart. Backing plate fell right off of it. Huh. Ready to go. Fell apart. <clears throat> I'll be right back with the rotor. These are really nice rotors, by the way. Find the hole that this goes in. It's one of these. Where are you? Is it this one? Nope. Where are you? That <sighs> doesn't go there. <laughs> Must be one down. You stay right there. That road is in place now. The next thing we're going to put the bracket back on. And start some assembly of the pieces on it. Mash 
nice. Let's shoot that with a little brake clean. Let's just get some of the grease off of it. Oh I want to get this these off. And this is going to go back on. We're going to tighten those bolts up there. Excellent. All right, so we've got to put some of this hardware back on now. Okay. <clears throat> now we're gonna get the brake pads. We're gonna do the brake pads next. And we're gonna do the slide pins. We're gonna clean them and grease them.
I take a slide pin out, clean it off, grease it up and put it back in. It's nice and clean. And there we are. And now that slide pin goes back in. Okay, and that's it. And then that one comes out. We're taking this one out. Clean all the gunk off it. The old grease. Okay. And put new grease on it. Here we are. All right. There we go. And that's going to go back in. Okay, now we're going to better figure out the orientation on this. And then we got, now we have to put the pads in next. Now, I do know the pad with this goes in the back. in the track and on here this is a special kind of heat grease okay that's a special kind of heat grease pads in. Okay. Now we'll grease the other pad. Put some in the track. Okay. Grease in the track. A little grease on the tips here. And again, these are ceramic pads. This one's going to go on the outside here. We'll put it in the track. All right. There we go. Now, we've got to put those spring clip things on. You see how much faster this is going now? Because we already did the other one. So, in this case, that goes there. And that gonna go there. And that's gonna hold pressure to keep that away from the, uh, the, the, the rotor. That's what it does. I'll put the bottom spring in. bottom one is in now okay see how it wants to push it out that's what it's supposed to do okay 
Now we have to put the caliper bracket back on. Those have been tightened on the inside. The, the caliper mounting bracket's been tightened up. All right. Put the grease away because we're done with the grease. And we need the caliper mounting bracket is next. That's all been compressed. So we just want to put this in place. Beautiful, just like that. Just like that. just to hold it in place right there okay. that takes care of that one and that take care of that one Okay, we're getting close to being done. It's gonna tighten these up now. Put that tire back on. And shower, then take it for a test drive. I'll put everything away too. That's what we have to do as well. Okay, now we can get that wheel back on, start putting these tools away. And then that, this side is done, but we'll get the wheel on.
You'll notice the fins are pointed toward the back of the vehicle. And I'm going to put these on low power, medium power, high power. Power two, same thing. And then power three, and then we'll torque it. That's the second tire all done. I'm going to go get my torque wrench and I'll be back. 